Hello, dear viewers, and welcome to another Terry Talk. Do I sound serious? It's because Terry Talk is a very serious subject. But as you all know, Terry Talk is not serious business. It's been a year since I started my series, and as you know, I like quirky, funny, interesting stories. I wrote about my coffee habits, I introduced you to my police car, Vicky, and I've also introduced you to many quirky characters an elderly drag racer, a comic book collector, and many other hobbyists. I have also done some pretty funny things. I have wrapped myself in Christmas lights. I have eaten pizza in a gym, which by the way is the only proper way to work out in my opinion. So why don't you stay tuned and watch the first year of Terry Talk and look forward to another. Welcome to Terry Talk. You may be wondering why we've wigged out for this particular episode at Gail's Wigs and Things. This episode is about a local drag queen, a performer who's been at it for 20 years. Some of the people in the club asked me um, to do it, and I told them that they were crazy. But then if uh, one of the members agreed to help me, okay. and I think having the makeup on and the wig and the lap, I mean, all the whole thing on kind of gives a bit of like you're wearing a mask. I'm just telling my rules don't feel that old. I'm, uh, like I say, I'm a 30 year old trapped on an 80 year old body and I'm having fun. It's 528 cubic inch Chrysler motor. How much is that? Around 900. So it's like your daily driver. Yep. <laughs> Prepare to meet your doom. Why do you love Star Wars so much? Star Wars, uh, to me, it's probably the first movie I ever remember seeing, and it's the most epic saga of Battle of Good versus Evil. How many action figures do you have all together, would you say? Oh. Uh, I'd say maybe in the hundreds. What force is wrong with you, I see. <laughs> This week we're in North Carolina at Dixieland Speedway doing a story about 14-year-old motocross champion Lyle Ann Baker. Most people think that it's easy, you know, that you just sit on it, but it's a lot more than just sitting on a bike and twisting a throttle. Curls, Terry. You gotta do the curls. You can't do another one. Right? All the way up. Oh, yes, you can. You can do another. All the way up. All the way up, finish no. the reps. No. All the way to the top. Can't. All the way to the top. Come on. All the way uh, up. Uh, I don't Get know. There. Yes, there you go. I'm here because I'm doing a story about a group of bodybuilders who modeled for an SPCA calendar and became friends. What's it been like forming the brotherhood with you guys? been awesome to be able to get together you know unite some common goals that we have and uh, give back to the community as for support a good cause you know show our love for fitness and, and animals at the same time I think it's been really good we're pumped to save puppies and kids welcome to another Terry talk you may have noticed I've become rather tied up in Christmas but there's a purpose for this other than humiliating myself it's to introduce a video whoa <laughs> Whoa. But as you can see, it's not your average plugging in some lights uh, and just no. turning it on and letting it go. Step one, fill pot with water. Step two, put the filter in the little bin. Step three, and here's where it gets really hairy, we dump, 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 dump the coffee in the bin. Now, this causes a lot of problems because if I had my way, I would fill this entire humongous filter all the way to the top with coffee. But I've been met with some reluctance to that. There, there's there's um, <laughs> society 
and and the most people in the newsroom, and then there's you know your interpretation of, of weak and strong. I estimated that you put in about forty to fifty <laughs> scoops. It's it was just incredibly incredibly strong. It was, it was maybe the strongest coffee I've ever had. Until next time. <laughs>